Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Gordon. We are back with another video. Today we're diving into subnet number 13 on BitTensor Tau data universe. I'm gonna show you how you can access large data sets, download those data sets for your own use, and also how you can be generating almost 100% APY with the macro universe data universe subnet alpha token. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, grab your free copy of the rise of Bitcoin. It is in the description waiting for you below. And let's talk about data universe. Okay, so like I alluded to, Data Universe is part of the Macro Cosmos ecosystem. This team actually controls three different subnets in the BitTensor ecosystem, one of which is subnet number 13, Data Universe. And what Data Universe are doing is they are making large scale data accessible to everyone when it was previously only available to major Web2 companies, okay? We know data is the new oil. There is so much power in data, especially in this era of intelligence and artificial intelligence. Having access to high quality real time data is very, very powerful. And that is ultimately what Macro Cosmos and Data Universe are enabling. OK, the importance of data across different markets cannot be understated. We're going to take a look at some of the stuff happening over here with the different marketplace opportunities on Data Universe's gravity in a moment. But essentially, the importance of data across all these different markets cannot be understated. You've got prediction markets. You've got other subnets on top of BitTensor actually tapping in to Data Universe to leverage this tool, leveraging gravity in order to pull data sets from Twitter X, from Reddit, and from YouTube, okay? So many different use cases and potential use cases we're gonna to touch on in a few minutes, but just to give you a very quick snapshot, you can see there's some of the most popular data sets over here on the Data Universe Marketplace, purchasing uh, data sets related to the New York City mayoral election. You have the Pakistan cricket tours and fan sentiment, and you can get and purchase data sets for that. You can purchase data sets on the investor emotions around the top 20 stock performances. So there's lots of different use cases here. We'll touch on those again in just a moment, but there are so many different features here for data universe that you can begin tapping into. Before we look at those features, I do want to just take a very quick look here and give you the usual data points. We're sitting at a price of 0.0078 tau per subnet alpha token for data universe. That is about $3.10. Market cap of 10.3 million. We've got 3.3 million tokens in circulation. And as of the time of recording this video, data universe is earning about 0.75% of all daily tau emissions. That is 22 tau every single day going to the miners. And the miners on this subnet are obviously the people providing very robust, up-to-date data sets on the data universe protocol. Okay, so many different ways that we can tap into this data. And maybe you're a business owner and you can leverage some of the data and the gravity tool I'm about to show you to parse data across X, YouTube, and Reddit. And then obviously what they're doing is they're building out a number of different partnerships. You have obviously product market fit with Gravity functioning as a service that allows businesses to scrape specific social media data for market research purposes. And it is extremely low cost, which I'll touch on in a moment. But obviously the partnerships they have internally, because like I alluded to, Macrocosmos have access and control of three different subnets. So the internal partnerships they're able to make with Apex subnet number one, IOTA subnet number nine, and obviously partnerships they're building out with many of the other subnets that are tapping into Data Universe. I know that Resi, another subnet, also partnered to um, fork the Data Universe subnet to get started with their real estate Oracle service. And so there's very uh, big use cases under the hood here for everything that Macrocosmos are building out. Okay, how can we use gravity to scrape data and download a data set? That is the example I want to show you because if I jump back over here into the gravity marketplace, what you can do is you can actually create your own custom scraping tasks and begin to search and parse X YouTube and Reddit to create your own data set, scrape that data and download your data set as well. 
Okay. All you have to do here, once you're in the gravity marketplace, and again, the easiest way to navigate here is to come over to macrocosmos.ai, click on data universe, and then navigate over to um, the sign up area, create your account, and you'll be able to access the gravity marketplace straight away. Again, there is no cost here. And they do actually give you $5 of credit, which allows you to download hundreds of thousands of lines worth of data, which I will show you right now. Okay, so first and foremost, you can click on create new scraping task up here, or you can click on this new task button over here. Two ways that you can go about this. If you're unsure of what you want to search about, you can use the mission commander, which is basically like a prompt commander that allows you to get deeper insights on ideas. Like if you want to get data around let's say the BitTensor Tau halving, for example, or you want to get data around um, an election that's coming up. So we just saw the mayoral election in the in New York, and we were able to search data and stuff around that. There was a, a data set you could purchase over here related to that, but you can search anything, anything to do with social sentiment across Reddit X and YouTube is going to be searchable. And what Data Universe is doing is it goes in and parses all of the data, the keywords, the hashtags related to your specific search query, and then gives you an output. Um, it scrapes all the data and gives you an output in the form of a downloadable sheet that you can actually get straight in your email. And I'll give you a very quick example here right now. So let's just say we wanted to search, um, I don't know, weather forecasts in New York City. Okay, if I type that in here, that's the name I'm giving my task. And then I can choose if I want a combination of Reddit X and YouTube for that specific task, then we can do that. Um, if I only want to search on X, then I can give it a keyword. And I can just type in, you know, something like weather New York City. Okay, I can add that keyword, and then I can launch the data collection. Okay, now this does typically take a few minutes to run. So be aware of that. When you click on launch data collection, it's going to create the new task for you. And it's going to go ahead and start parsing its entire database to begin giving you records and collecting records for your specific new task. Again, you can see that it's going to be searching for specific um, specific lines and records related to my specific keyword, which is weather NYC or weather New York City. Now you can see it's pending at the moment because it's initiating the task. You can see the task is running and it's going to start collecting those records. Okay. Like I said, this will take a few minutes to run. And as it collects new records, it is going to give you an estimated price for all of those records over here on the right hand side. Okay. If I go back to my overall tasks, we can actually see some other examples that I ran in the past. And we can see that you'll be able to actually tap in here to um, understand and download those actual records for when the task is finished running. So this one here, I was looking for information around the Tau having event, and it's still parsing and creating all those records over here, which I will then be able to download. And the downloads are very, very cheap. And like I said earlier, they're giving you um, $5 worth of data that you can use to get a whole bunch of records. You're gonna be able to get hundreds of thousands of records for that $5. So definitely come over, use the link in the description below to check all of that out, okay? The other thing I wanted to demonstrate is another use of the data universe features. If we come over to that marketplace that I was looking at just a few minutes ago, you have the ability to go ahead and purchase these pre-populated data sets as well. So we looked at a few of these examples a moment ago, but let's say that I was actually interested in downloading the data related to this global earthquake and tsunami assessment data set. I can click on this specific data set. We can see that there's 29,000 records in this specific data set related to these specific keywords that they have parsed and scraped data around. And I can go ahead and buy and purchase and download this exact data set for a dollar and 46 cents over 29,000 records. Again, let's do one other quick example here. We can see um, data sets around the Ethereum network and the sentiment for that specific um, asset. And I've just lost it here on the screen. So maybe we'll pick a different example. Um, but we can see that, you know, Kenya fintech and mobile money innovation. There's 1,100 records here, and you could purchase that specific data set for only five cents. So if I click on buy now, it allows me to click on pay and download, 
And then I can actually go ahead and get access to that exact data set for those specific keywords that someone else has already created. And I can purchase it and start using that data for whatever I need to use. Okay, so this is the power of Data Universe. This is the power of what Macrocosmos have created with this data scraping technology across X, YouTube, and Reddit. Very, very powerful. Make sure to come in and check it out for yourself. So many different potential use cases. If I jump back over to the home screen here, they do a good job of describing this on the homepage. If I scroll down into this particular area, you know, marketing and brand innovation. If you want to pinpoint audience insights through keyword and hashtag targeting, you're going to be able to get access to hundreds of thousands of records here using Data Universe. You're going to be able to get, um, data directly related to the people who are talking about keywords specific to your brand or specific to your niche. AI model training, again, creating social chatter with market movements, building predictive models enriched with human context. Again, we know this world of intelligence modeling that we're continuing to accelerate towards is feeding off of real-time social sentiment, and you can get huge amounts of data here directly on Macrocosmos's data universe to feed those AI training models. And then obviously, like I alluded to, forecasting and prediction, you know, using chatbots, live access to the latest social narratives, there is over 80 million or up to 80 million new records added into the data universe data set every single day. And so they have the most up to date data across Reddit X and YouTube. And you're able to use that real time data to execute forecasting and prediction models. So these are just some of the potential use cases for Data Universe. Like I said, I'm going to leave a link for datauniverse.macrocosmos.ai in the description of this video. So make sure to check it out, guys. You've got $5 worth of free credits that you can begin using immediately. And like you saw a moment ago, $5 worth of free credits literally gets you access to hundreds of thousands of records free. So come over, check it out for yourself. Um, again, the partnerships these guys are building out, the internal partnerships they have with their own internal subnets is very, very um, useful and lucrative for the growth of this subnet as well. And I did allude to this at the very beginning of the video, but I didn't get to touch on it here just yet. But with Data Universe subnet number 13, you're generating 92% APY from simply holding and having access to that subnet alpha token. So if you want to speculate on the future potential growth of Data Universe, the tool they're building, the revenue they're beginning to generate by getting this product in front of individuals and businesses, you can be getting 92% APY from simply holding this specific subnet alpha token. So hopefully that's given you an insight, guys, into how to use Gravity to scrape data and download a data set using Data Universe. So many different Data Universe features that we've covered in this video and so many different um, important use cases across different markets for Data Universe and everything they're building. That is it for today's video, guys. As always, if you enjoyed this deep dive into Data Universe, please just take three seconds to smash that thumbs up button. Let's do it right now. Under my finger, there is a thumbs up button on your screen. Smash that thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon. Grab your free copy of The Rise of Bitcoin, and I'll catch you in the next one.